the essential thing, the way, we do not know. Oh, Govinda, I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty, Govinda. For years we've been on this path with the sadhus. For years we've been in search of knowledge. For years we've been asking questions. And there's been no, no answer from God. Now you want to go and hear the Buddha. Why don't you want to go? Remember what I told you? I no longer believe in learning or in teaching. But I will go with you. What I have to teach is not a religion at all, for I do not talk about substance or soul or even a god, nor do I ask any of my followers to have faith, seek grace or worship me. This life is full of pain and this world is full of suffering. The cause of suffering is craving, self-love and attachment. The remedy for suffering is the systematic destruction of craving. Nirvana we must think of as an enlightenment of the conscious mind, control of yourself and then concentration and meditation this should lead to wisdom. O oh, illustrious one, I wish to be accepted in your order. Siddhartha, I've been accepted. What are you waiting for? Are you not going to join? You've taken a step, Govinda. You've chosen your path. Govinda, you've always followed one step behind me. And I have wondered if Govinda will ever take a step on his own. Well, now you have. Go along it, my friend. Go along it to the end. But what's wrong with this teaching? Why? Why aren't you going to join the Buddha? There's nothing wrong with the Buddha's teachings. It's just that I must go my own way. Tomorrow, Govinda, I must leave you. <laughs> Govinda. Govinda. Be a 
at peace, Govinda. Be at peace. <laughs> Forgive me, illustrious one. May I speak? As you wish. Yesterday, my friend and I had the honor of hearing you speak. Now, my friend has sworn allegiance to you and left me. Now I'm alone, unable to follow you or any teacher. You said yesterday that that life was a chain unbroken, linked together by cause and effect. For me, cause and effect are not enough. It is my opinion that everything is whole, unified, complete. Opinions may be beautiful, ugly or clever. It is not my goal to explain this world to those who are thirsty for knowledge. It is salvation from suffering. This is all the Buddha teaches, nothing more. You can never tell me the secret of what you yourself experienced when you achieved enlightenment. That is why I'm going on my way, not to find a better teacher but to leave behind all teachers and to find a way alone or die. You are clever, young Satu. Perhaps too clever. Be on your guard against cleverness. But I will never forget this day. Buddha has taken away my friend, my friend Govinda, who believed in me and now believes in him. He has taken away my friend who was my shadow and is now his shadow. But he has given me Siddhartha. He has given me myself. That's the only man who I will lower my eyes for. No other teaching will attract me as this man's teaching has. I wanted to know the book of the world and the book of my own nature. I missed the sign. I thought the world of appearances was the truth, but I was wrong. It's my own eyes and my own mouth that I could not understand. I could not understand myself. Anyway, that's all over. I've awakened. I'm awake. I've been born today. <laughs> I'm 